Alright guys, well as you can see, one of the monitors is functioning correctly. I can do all the stuff I need to do with it and I can see my desktop and everything is looking good. Um, I've got to go download some drivers to get this second monitor to work. Um, if you look here, uh, when I turn it on, it's showing ASUS, so it is functional, but I just don't have the video going to it. There's no signal pop in a second. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get a signal to it. But other than that, everything's working. Um, I will show you a video when it's all working and show you how it all works together. In the meantime, I want to unbox one last thing. I was gonna go with the Apple keyboard, then I said, screw that. I'm going with this Logitech one. I heard a lot of good things about it. This is the K630. And we're gonna take it out of the box. It's kind of small. Um, and I'll, we'll see what, what goodies it has. Uh, yeah, it's really small. This is the, this is the USB. And it is tiny, tiny, tiny. So we'll put that in our USB mobile. And I'm using a USB extender for all of my stuff. And it already recognized it on the screen here. If you uh, look here, it says an on uh, identify an onboard USB. You get the deal. Um, so yeah, let's take this thing out and see what we got here. I believe this thing takes some batteries. Uh, I'm past believing. I'm sure it does. Uh, feels pretty good. Um, just even pulling out the plastic. They were nice enough to give me some. And they didn't get some cheap shit batteries. Check this out. They gave Duracell. Go Logitech. Oh, and it's already working. Just that fast. So put the flaps. Um, this has been the easiest part of this whole thing was this keyboard, which I'm very happy with so far. Yep, works great. Change the screen. I just typed in a typed in a, a, a site. I'll type in another one just to show you that the keyboard works, and it works really good. Damn, Apple.com. <laughs> that sucked. Let's go eBay. That's working. So yeah, it's, it's, this thing works really good. And I mean, I'm I'm happy for it. Uh, happy with it rather. And I'm using this my my standby gadget where um, mouse that I really like. So yeah. Uh, I put together a system. I would do a full tally on what it costs once I get it all working, hopefully. But my goal here is that, as I can show you, when I'm editing, I can transfer and I can have my bin on the other monitor and just have my editor and have my timeline on this monitor. That's what I'm hoping. Um, you know, no guarantees, but that that is the goal. So, yeah. Uh, stand by while we do some more work try to get this thing uh, working what's up YouTube it's your boy itchy and I just want to show you I've got all three screens functional right now um, and if you look at this one I can drag something from here to here down to here back to here over to here back down to here so I'm just making a big circle and it's pretty seamless it, uh, so this product works pretty good but I've got all three uh, screens functioning this is the actual laptop itself right now um, I've got the keyboard here I've got my mouse there um, I've got the Harman Kardon speaker system and I've got both systems and I actually think that this uh, Acer looks better than my Samsung monitor this Acer looks more on par with my actual screen from my MacBook Pro and I got the high res um, anti-glare screen on this thing and it's both of these I did get two anti-glare monitors by the way but everything is working so you know if I want to 
Let's call up a web page so I can show y'all what's going on here. Let's pick something. Um, we go here and I just grab the page, say I don't want it here. I can bring it down and read it on this other screen. Uh, okay, actually drop it more. But yeah, now you get it and see it's in between the two pages. I can bring it all the way down on this page. So now I can I can do everything I need to do down here. Um, I can go back up top here and open a new web page, a new window. I can take that window that's now down here. I'm sorry for the zooming in and out, but just trying to show y'all. I can take this one and bring it up uh, into this second window. And I can go over here again and go file new window and I can take this new window and move it over here so I've got three separate web pages up right now and let's change this to something else and I'm using so I've got three separate web pages now off the same computer which is cool and if I want to just kill all of them, I go to my Safari button and end, quit Safari. And I'm going to try to pull out for y'all. They all go away. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's it. So I got, uh, this is my new editing setup. Uh, let me get up so I can show you. Hopefully my, my computer won't freaking fall down because I got to build something to extend my pullout tray because I don't have a lot of room I'm in my second gaming setup room where I do my editing and it's kind of tight in here uh, sorry about that all that shaking but here is how it looks I'm gonna mount some better lights so I can have a little bit better lighting in here and let me turn the light on so y'all can see what's going on here but that's all the stuff I got hooked up this is that Eclipse uh, external video card, and it runs into U1 as one USB port. Then I'm running into my second USB port, an extender. I got two extra slots left. But here's the keyboard and the mouse. There's the keyboard. There's the mouse. Here's the Harman Kardon sound connected in uh, my charger, and here is the mini display port right here. So everything is in, and that's if I want to use all three screens, but usually I only use two. So I will let my computer rest. So I'll close it, slide it up, tuck this away so you don't see it. And this is what my screens will look like, my normal setup as a dual monitor. And when I need to take my computer on the go, I can just unplug it and roll out.